What turns on a killer is the suffering and death of another human being. And as his determination builds to take another life, he plans in obsessive detail what props he'll bring, what knots he'll tie. Let me ask you guys something. What turns you on? A criminal psychiatrist. There's a serial killer out there who strangled three women. He's going to do it again. A homicide detective. Would you work with us on this? You're kidding, right? I do not want you discussing this case with her in any shape, way, or form. It's the Boston Strangler. You're telling me this guy's copycatting a serial killer's been dead for... 20 years. You're looking for an intelligent white male, 20 to 30 years old, socially functional. Everything is different. Different guy. He switched from DeSalvo to Bianchi and Bono, the hillside strangler. One man is copying the most notorious killers in history, one at a time. He's sending you letters like he's daring us to nail him. If he wants to be famous, he has to be caught. I'm death and life to you, Doc. We know that Mr. Cullen was safe in San Quentin last night, so how come his book shows up under the mattress? Together, two women must stop him. The man who has killed five women in the city was just in your apartment. Before he kills again. All I know to do is change your locks, tighten up your security, and pray. Sigourney Weaver, Holly Hunter, and Harry Connick Jr. in a deadly game of cat. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. And mouse. <gasps> Copycat.